okay kesh so so in our uh, previous video so we we have seen uh, how to install the power bi report builder right now in this video we are going to discuss so i will explain like what is what we have exactly and uh, so i will introduce the tool okay what we have and what exactly we will do with that tool and all okay these are the templates guys okay so by using these templates okay so when we open the after installation when you open this uh, you know report builder na so you will see all these wizards okay so new report okay new report which you want to create okay table okay table wizard or chart wizard or map wizard wizard means <coughs> you don't have any control guys okay just uh, so with the one data set you will create a report okay that may be chart report that may be table report that may be map report or blank report okay anything okay and open means so the existing report okay if you save somewhere if you save somewhere so it will open the existing report guys okay so let me close it again so that open will do like that okay again so we have one more the data set right so the it, existing data set okay so recent recent means so what are the recent things you have done okay so that will open the recent recent one okay this is about the get started okay when you open um, this file na okay when you open this report builder so it will open this three okay three means first one it will create a wizard okay that may be table or matrix wizard or chart wizard wizard means next 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 buttons okay guys okay you don't have to do anything so this is wizard is only used for users okay user can create their own report but it's only for sample reports okay simple reports and it's not a complex reports guys okay so even the the no need to do any uh, formatting at all okay just to, they will uh, click on next 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 and then it will create a report this this we will see tomorrow okay and also i will introduce guys okay i will introduce what is what okay now for quick quick access guys okay quick access okay you have a save button here okay so that is a quick uh, quick access command and save and undo undo and redo okay undo and redo this, this is called quick access commands okay quick access command and then there is a ribbon tab okay there is a ribbon tab okay so here uh, is the ribbon okay and next this is called rip, uh, this is called report data pan guys okay this is called report data pan okay this is called a report data pan okay so here actually what we will do so we will create the data set data set is data source data source is nothing but a connection guys okay we will create the data source and we will create the data set data set is nothing but a your tables okay your query okay whatever the query based on the query you will create a report here okay so we'll create a um, you know uh, data sets and then we'll create the parameters if you want to uh, image the okay you, if you want to upload the image you can upload the image from here and then you can use the built in functions also okay there are some built in functions okay to font uh, to dynamic font and all okay so and uh, there is a execution time and language or all page numbers and all okay you can see you can do from the built in functions okay page numbers okay url report url and report folder name something like that you <coughs> okay you will do the in report uh, da, report uh, you know report data panel you will do all these things okay this is empty okay this empty thing is canvas okay we will call it as a canvas okay we will call it as call it as a canvas okay report canvas guys okay this is called report canvas canvas means where we'll do the development things okay where we'll do the development things that is called a report canvas okay this is sorry this is the report canvas okay here we will do the actual development okay here we'll do the actual development okay if you move to the right side okay if you move to the right side so right side tab okay there is a sign in button guys okay authentication okay so who has uh, signed it okay here there is a sign in button okay so we'll do the authentication okay and also there is a property panel guys okay there is a property panel this property panel will control uh, your uh, you know report like so the what is the background color what is the font color and everything okay what is the page size okay what is the page size and what is the border and everything okay even so everything we can use the you know by using profit Uh, property property panel guys okay property panel so that is about the property panel okay and then 
there is a group by okay group by column and group by rows okay so it, it will do the summary summarization of the database okay so if you want a country by summarization and something like that so okay you can go with the so this group by section okay so you can do the column wise grouping and row wise grouping also okay so that will go detail when we create a report okay but i'm just introducing what exactly what it will do and then what it will do okay just to, i'm giving overall things okay what tool is having okay yes so next is this is the parameter section parameter section means we can give a control to the user okay so you can suppose you have a multiple departments okay four or five types of department sales department it department you know um, hr department something like that but so their sales okay so whenever user okay user has the control to select the which department he want to select and so you want to see that related data suppose he want to filter hr department so you will select the only hr department if you want to select the sales department he can select the sales department the parameter means so we'll give the control to the user so uh, to pick the data okay to pick the data okay that is about the control case okay next uh, we'll have the grouping panel already over right so next uh, so the thing is last okay we have a zoom in okay so you want to zoom in okay zoom in so the body will zoom in guys okay perfect pixel okay perfect pixel size so if you want a perfect pixel size we can go with this zoom in zoom out also okay this is about overall about the um, things and also we have some files okay if there is a top we have the four things okay file home and data tab and insert okay what exactly this will do okay we'll see that place okay so file so you have to create a, if when you want to create a new uh, report then you can go when you want to create existing okay when you want to open the existing report you can so you want to save this file but you don't want to close that file then you can go with the save button okay save as means it will save the file with the rdl extension guys okay with the rdl extension rdl means report definition language okay rdl extension rdl means report definition language okay so publish means it will publish into power bi service guys okay so we will have that in a file section okay all this we will have in a file section okay so save as means it will save into your local machine publish means it will publish into power bi service workspace power bi service workspaces okay that is what okay so then home home means so you, you will have all these ribbons okay a run and paste and you know formatting kind of things okay total formatting type kind of things and alignments everything and then publish also okay you can publish from home also okay so even you can do the center alignment and uh, you can increase the font size and you can change the colors so everything you can keep the borders and everything you can do okay in home button guys okay in home button next data so you can connect okay you can connect different different data sources okay by odbc tera data oracle analysis service sql server okay <laughs> <coughs> azure analysis service okay and azure sql server data wars okay something like that so these are all our sources okay we can connect even we can enter the data also okay so in power bi desktop how we are entering the data the same way we can enter the data and we can see also okay that will going forward we'll see that okay next insert tab okay in insert tab you will have the data regions okay this is called the data region area okay this is called data region area in data region area you will have the you know table and matrix and list and then there are, then after we will have the data visualization data data visualization you will have the you know charts cas map and data bars and spark line something like that these are the report items okay report items when we have the single item that is called a report items when we have the multiple items okay you can do multiple things that will be the data regions okay these are the so we'll discuss going forward but i'm just introducing guys okay and this is the report items so this section we will call it as a report items okay so text box image line and rectangle is a okay and sub reports okay report within the report is called sub report guys okay you can create okay child report within the parent report that is called sub report and you can keep header footers also okay so this is about the overall about the tool and also there is a view okay view button so in the view so if you don't want to see this uh, report data so then it will go okay observe guys okay properties okay if you don't want to see the properties the property will gone okay so if you select this only then the properties and grouping and so if you unselect this the grouping will gone 
okay so make sure whether you have selected all these parameters if you don't want parameters the parameter section will come if you are on the parameters in the parameter section everything in the view okay what you want to see what you don't want to see okay whether based on the selection you can see that guys okay thank you this is about the tool so from tomorrow onwards we'll create a report okay we'll create reports thank you